ok Yes, uh, hello, my name is Jennifer. Hello, my name is Daniela. Uh, good evening, my name is Gabriel. Hello, my name is Luis. Well, um, the last topic that I thought um, was about instructions. It was in second grade of middle school. And I, what I do, what I usually do is um, to give time for grammar explanations, uh, presentation of vocabulary, practice of the language skills, such as uh, listening exercises, writing, or even speaking, which um, personally I consider the most difficult one. And um, I give some weeks to develop a specific project for the unit. So I think that was the last topic that I evaluated. Aileen, tienes apagado tu micrófono. If, if you guys need more details or something like that, you can tell me with um, with all the confidence. Feel free. Feel free to ask. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Mm. Well, uh, actually, I work with first and second grade. So for first grade, I think it is about descriptions. And for second grade is... Um... Hold on a second, guys, please. Okay, no, no, don't worry. Okay, it's fine. So I was telling you, for first grade, uh, the 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 next topic is descriptions, and for second grade, are um, the weather. Well, like giving, um, telling, and knowing the the weather, talking about the weather, like pronostics. Bueno. Okay. Yes, uh, okay, the next question, um, this is important. Uh, what do you observe in the group in general? Uh, what is the group like in the school environment? Hmm, <laughs> well, that's a, a, a long question, you know, because there are too many things to take into account. For example, first, the age. I think the age is something really important to consider and uh, well, you are observing your your group to get to, to know your students. First of all, the the age. With what kind of of students are you dealing with? Um, in my case, all of them are teenagers. They are between eleven to fifteen years old. Oh. So <laughs> um, yes, because I work with the with first and second grade. So in general, they are between eleven and. And 15 years old. The environment in the school is hard. It's hard because personally, I don't feel enough support from the authorities. I mean, when I arrived to that school, I tried to implement many projects and many 
new things like innovating, but I, I didn't feel that support from them. Um, I remember on December uh, 2018, I wanted, well, I, I carry out uh, a Christmas carol with my two groups, but I, well, my principal didn't give me the space and the time to present it to the entire school. And this somehow demotivates you as a teacher because you feel like the, all the energy and all the good ideas, you are all fresh from, from graduating from the major. You are fresh, you have uh, new ideas, you are uh, young, you know, you, you can identify with your students because of your age. I think that has helped me a lot, but well, um, I think that that specific um, event demotivated me a lot and made me see how really is the, the organization in the school. They don't care at all on how you work. They only want results. They care more about the results rather than the, the process. Um, this, is, this is worrying. In, in, in one case, um, they asked me actually to pass all of my students. So this is another aspect that is very, very worrying and that I don't like. Well, apart from that, apart from the age, apart from the authority support, I think that the communication with my colleagues, with the other English teachers is not that good because they, let's say that they didn't accept the idea of having a new English teacher. They felt like I was stalling the hours. So um, that also makes me feel like if I, that I don't have anyone to, to talk to in that specific uh, school. And I work in other secondary school. I work in a technical middle school and I work in a general middle school. The general middle school is Potosinos Ilustres. The environment, the environment is totally different. I work in the afternoon shift in the two um, schools, but the environment is way too different. First of all, they have control outside the school when the students are um, getting into the school, they check the uniform, the nails that are not painted. Um, for example, I don't know, you know that sometimes the, the girls modify the clothes, like make it like skinny, skinny. and they, they don't allow that, <laughs> they don't allow that. Um, and in comparison with my technical school, the the furniture and the building are in much better conditions. So I think that is another aspect to consider and to observe the the furniture that the classroom has, the building, um, the matter, the the resources, yes, the the physical resources that you have to work with in in the school. Because in the technical middle school, I don't even have a classroom. You know, sometimes I arrive to the school and, teacher, you know what? You work in classroom number five. Okay, today you work in classroom number 10. And I am moving on from one classroom to another. So this is really difficult for me to actually have my material, maybe some visual support in the walls, because I, I, I don't even have a, a classroom. It, it makes it difficult. So I think you need to consider that the building, the furniture, uh, material, 
resources that you have physical resources uh, how is the relationship between teachers and authorities uh, making reference to the students i will recommend you to check on the age um, behavior because sometimes they behave different according to their mood to the teacher actually because if they don't like the the subject they behave different if they like it or if they have confidence with the teacher if it's difficult or easy for them um i don't know what else can i say about students likes the interest um yes Hmm. Well, from middle school, <laughs> none of them. No, kidding. Well, I will prefer first grade. I, I, I like to work with first grade and third grade. I think the second one is the hardest because they um, they are changing, you know? psychologically, physically, and I don't know, the change of humor are really extreme. And yeah, it makes it difficult for me to work with second grade. But I, but I totally prefer first and third grade. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, the yeah. next question is about the topic of sorry, or subject. And does huh? the group show acceptance towards the subject um, that is, is easy or difficult to work with them? With them? <laughs> the, the English subject, is it difficult for me to work with them? Yes. Well, um... It hasn't been that difficult to make them work, but to make them produce the language is the difficult part. Because you can get them to work. You can get them, you know what? Read this, listen to this. Uh, do not stand up. Um, be quiet and pay attention and all that stuff. But, um, Making them produce the language, use the language, produce something by themselves, that is the hard part from teaching English. Because we, we face too many uh, ex external factors, such as the contact that the students have had with the language. Maybe for, for some of them, for the majority of them, the secondary school is the first contact that they have with English. So this is one disadvantage. Other one, the, the time that they use the language outside the school. You know that for most of them, uh, the English class is the only opportunity for them to use and to be exposed to English. Hold on a second. My dog is working so hard. Hold on a second. <laughs> Yes, don't worry, teacher. I think I'm ready. So, I was saying, I was saying that, um, I don't remember what I was saying. Can you remind me? <laughs> Sorry, can you remind me? I was, we were talking about the, the difficult part of teaching a language. And I was saying that, the difficult part is to make them produce the language and to use the language. Because if you make them repeat, they are not actually producing something. They are only repeating, reproducing. But if you tell them, okay, talk about your family. And then what? They feel like, teacher, I don't even know how to talk about my family in Spanish. And you... You want me to do it in English, no? So I think that is the, the difficult part for me in teaching English. Mm 
Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes. Okay, the next question is, is the group participative? Excuse me, can you, can you repeat the question, please? Is the group participative? No. No, I, I have problems with participation and even more with oral participation. And when they do it, they do it in the target and in the in their mother tongue in Spanish. Um, from 12 or 15 students that I have in each group, maybe two or three are the, the students that actually participate and actually work. The rest are that, you know what? You know that you have, that you have to, to pass me. So um, they don't show interest. But I try to use um, dynamics and concourses to make them and having them talking and having them writing. Uh, but yeah, I have problems with participation, honestly. I cannot tell you, yes, guys, everything is okay. No, let's, let's be realistic. <laughs> it's nice, yes. And I think it, that is the magic that we do as teachers. Um, but well, the reality is that you have students with hard situations, very difficult situations. The next question is, do you use help monitors with the best students? Mm, sometimes. Okay. I, I, I use them sometimes because it, well, it has its advantages and disadvantages. One advantage is that as a teacher, it helps you to save time. And if you cannot give personal attention to each one of your students, the monitors helps you a lot with that. But um, we face with some situations like uh, the monitors don't like to work with that person. Uh, the, the monitors only want to help their friends or even the monitors feel that they are in charge of the class. And it's not like that. So they work. Yes, they work. I, I use them when we are working on our projects. I set roles and I have monitors for the ones that have problems with writing or speaking. And in those specific situations, monitoring has helped me a lot. Hey, my name is Luis, and my my first question is: What methods do you use to teach English? Well, um, I use the the most typical one, I think, uh, PPP, uh, presentation practice production, mm -hmm. and and I feel comfortable with this method because the steps are very clear and. It has helped me to organize my time during the class. For example, I'm going to take around 10 minutes to explain for grammar explanation. And after that, another 15 minutes for them to practice. And the last part, they produce, producing something. Even short sentences, two sentences, productions are productions. And they are improving their skills if they actually do it. I, 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 I always have to say that. You cannot learn to write or to speak if you don't write, if you don't speak. So, yeah, I think this method has is the one that I have used most of the time. And I also had the opportunity to travel to USA to take a, a course 
about Russia's method. I don't know if you guys know a little bit about Russia's method. Mm -hmm, a little bit. Yeah, well, I had the opportunity to travel to USA and take that specific course. And it's amazing. It's a combination. I think it's a mixture of all the methods that you are learning right now. Um, the vocabulary, the grammar, the production, the practice, but in a fun way, let's say like that, a very dynamic and a fun way. And those strategies help me a lot, a lot. For example, they, in that age, they are very competitive. And in Russia's method, they propose many competitions, many uh, dynamics that implies a winner. And well, that is something that works. I, I totally recommend you that the presentation practice production and, the, and some strategies of Russia's method. Actually, you can include them inside that method. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is, what do you implement to the class to attract the attention of the students? Excuse me, can, can you repeat the question, please? Oh, okay. What do you implement to the class to attract the attention of the students? Well, um, what I use to... Wait a second. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm back. 